Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Fast Electronic and I wanted to bring you a little a brief quick tutorial. Uh, you might have seen the unboxing of the new 6th generation Apple Airport Extreme. Uh, it's kind of what we're seeing right here. Uh, it's actually sitting on top of my 4th generation Apple 2TB time capsule. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick tutorial. Um, I'm actually going to be relocating this and do a wireless backup for my time machine, but I'll get into that uh, in another video and, of course, provide a link in the description for that. But I wanted to just give everyone a real quick, you know, hey, if you've got an existing Apple product or it could be any other wireless router, you know, some people might be a little apprehensive about just moving forward and bringing in the new piece. So I wanted to just uh, clear the air about that, probably the easiest way to do it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into that. The first thing I would recommend doing is go ahead and unplug in your cable modem. Do this in advance of that or your DSL. Uh, unplug that, plug it back in, let it reboot. You're going to want to plug that back in and plug that into your new device um, on the WAN, WA inside that connection there. When you reboot the modem, make sure that your time capsule is already on. Um, another way to do it is just go ahead and reboot, reboot your cable modem leave that connection live. So what I would recommend, reboot your cable modem and take the cable modem cable that's coming, the Ethernet cable from there, plug that into your time capsule before powering up the time capsule will make life a lot simpler for you. So let's uh, set the time, the new the Airport Extreme to the side for right now. We've got on the back here just a couple connections. We've got power, we've got our main Ethernet connection We've got uh, a cable that runs over to the desk area, and we also have a cable here that feeds a switch, which I have a lot of components plugged into that switch. We've got the uh, power cable is right here. These all are plugged in currently to the back of the time capsule. So everything is kind of tight here. I'll show you there from the bottom. You can see all the cables are plugged in there now uh, to the time capsule. So what I'm actually gonna do here uh, systematically, I've gone ahead and uh, reset my cable modem. But I'm actually going to go ahead and just take the new time capsule and I'm going to duplicate those cables. Uh, they actually use the same power cable so I can just plug in power there. Our main ethernet from our cable modem or DSL is going to go in this port. And then I'll plug in my other two ethernet for my local connections to these. So let me go ahead guys and just uh, basically just start unplugging things. You know grab your, uh, grab your ethernet cable. Uh, you know if you want to recommend taking your main wand cable first. That is this one. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in for right now. And I'm going to go ahead and take my other two cables that I actually feed, like I said, a switch and then my desk area. I've got one here. Go ahead and plug that into one of our three gigabit Ethernet ports. These are my LAN, L-A-N, local area network connections for those that don't know what that is. Most of you do. We've got those plugged in. And then I'm going to just simply go ahead and take the power cord out of the back of the time capsule. I've got it down here. And we'll go ahead and make use of that connection. You have to pardon me, guys. I'm uh, anal about all my wires and everything being exactly where I need it to be. So you can see here, I actually don't have much slack because that's on purpose. This is where this unit will sit. It sits right in place of the time capsule I had. And if you saw my other videos, I did a speed test comparison between the time capsule 4th gen as against the new Apple Airport Extreme 6th generation so I'll put a link in the description below so make sure you look for that and I'll go ahead and actually for the time being here carefully go ahead and remove my time capsule as I'm going to use that in another location of my home either to extend my network or simply act as a uh, just wireless backup only for time machine I have not yet decided on that but those connections that you saw there were very similar to the new one with power, USB, that's where your local or your, pardon me, your wide area connection from your cable modem or DSL would have gone and then your three local gigabit ports. So go ahead and set that off to the side for now. What we got here, we actually have now, is the new Apple 6th generation Airport Extreme. I actually have sitting next to it is my uh, Apple TV and I actually have that fed into a switch. I prefer a wired connection if I'm streaming any type of 1080p content. So real quickly guys, that was just a real quick brief uh, tutorial switching your existing network. Uh, if that was not a time capsule there, could have been any other wireless router. Duplicate the same procedure. Uh, re go ahead and reboot that cable modem, make sure it's live, plug that uh, connection into your time capsule before turning it on. It'll make your life a lot simpler. Plug in your other 
local connections like we talked about in the back which we've done and this is actually its new home this is going to actually sit here uh, i do actually enjoy the look of it i think it's a lot cooler than uh, the time capsule i like uh, uh you know revamp things the size of it uh, if you want to see size comparison uh, if you're pressed for space here's an apple tv actually can set that uh time capsule airport extreme right on top of that um it's exactly the same size so if you're pressed for space and you'd rather do it that way, uh, more power to you. I prefer to just separate them that way. I can always, uh, if I'm entertaining here, I'm actually at my home theater area of the uh, of my house set up. I could actually uh, have people see the Apple TV so that you know we can put photos on the screen or anything that we want through AirPlay, which is a remarkable feature. And I may even do a video just speaking about AirPlay because I've been using it for about four or five months. A lot of friends come over, we do a uh, guest network, things like that. It's quite remarkable. So, uh, just wanted to show you a real quick tutorial on setting up your uh, new Apple Airport Extreme 6th Generation. Uh, brought to you by Fast Electronic and Loud, where we always bring it to you fast, electronic, and of course loud. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.